Flood risk is the top natural hazard in America. Federal, state, and local entities all share in managing this risk, along with individual property owners. The three most important things you need to know about levee safety are, one, life safety is our top priority. Two, managing flood risk is a shared responsibility. Three, all levels of flood risk should be taken seriously. So please take the necessary steps to improve your safety. To successfully manage flood risk, efforts by levy sponsors, communities, and homeowners are needed. At the personal level, actions like considering flood insurance and developing household emergency plans are used to manage residual risk. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has tools to share with everyone to protect lives and property. One of these tools is called the Levy Safety Action Classification, or LSAC. This classification system helps the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to better inform local levy sponsors and residents of the residual flood risks that remain despite the presence of levees in their communities. LSAC evaluates three key factors that estimate the residual risk of a levy system. The first factor considered is the probability of flooding. We refer to this as a hazard. The second factor determines the levy's potential performance, which is a combination of how it performed in the past and how it is constructed and maintained. And the third factor is the consequences an area faces if a levy were to fail or be overtopped. This includes an estimate for the potential loss of life. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers wants you to be successful to achieve long-term holistic approaches to reduce flood risk. The heart of LSAC involves a risk screening process that estimates the general condition and relative risks of a levee system. This provides communities a better understanding of the likelihood and probable severity of adverse consequences in the event of a flood. The LSAC screening method uses existing data inspection reports, design information, historic performance, census, and land use data together to make these estimates. These estimates are vital for informing the flood risk management process. The LSEC screening process is uh, a screening uh, that identifies risk, not infrastructure. So we're talking about what is the risk or the, uh, uh, the residual risk or risk of, uh, of something happening with respect to a levy safety program here. The overriding spirit and intent of LSAC is to help levy sponsors and the general public take a risk-informed view of infrastructure and steps that individuals can take to further reduce their own exposure to residual flood risks. Again, this risk-informed view considers a holistic understanding of flood hazards, levy system performance, and the possible consequences for system failures Properly managing risk is a combined function of understanding levy systems and residual risk. Human safety and protecting lives are of paramount importance with all flood risk management considerations. The most important thing the public needs to know is their personal responsibility. How to protect their own items, what measures to take, where to look for flood forecasts, and then what to do if flooding is forecast. Another way to understand the risk-informed view of infrastructure is to recognize that while levee and dam systems do provide some flood protection, none of this infrastructure is flood-proof. All levees are subject to overtopping or performance issues. Residual risks remain with any levee system for future flooding. Acting on the information provided by the LSAC screening will help local levy sponsors and governments achieve holistic flood risk reduction. LSAC screening results provide an opportunity to identify long-term strategies to address a levy system's current and future maintenance needs. Ultimately, the screening process should lead levy sponsors to have a dynamic plan that can flex with an evolving physical protection system and changing land use. This dynamic plan should include a deliberate public outreach and education effort that engages other public entities and property owners. It's important to understand about residual risk because ultimately that risk is borne by the homeowner or the public. And while levies may help managing some risk, things such as life safety, personal and sentimental property, 
and other important factors in your personal risk can't be managed solely by levees. Managing residual flood risk is a shared responsibility that necessitates levy sponsors, communities, and individuals taking positive action steps to account for the flood risk that remains beyond the construction and maintenance of levees. The most important aspect of managing residual flood risk is being prepared. Preparedness actions encompass public policy decisions such as zoning, building codes, and emergency response plans. They also involve individual land use and property management decisions, including flood insurance, natural water storage, and structural design and location choices. Three simple items you can do as a property owner include evaluate purchasing flood insurance. Homeowners insurance does not cover flood damages. Have an evacuation that accounts for the three Ps, pets, prescriptions, and papers. Have a family emergency plan. Again, everyone has a role to play in managing flood risk, so it is important you get involved today. For more information about levee safety, visit the Army Corps of Engineers Levee Safety website at usace.army.mil and search for Levee Safety Program.